Really, I was all right, all right. Welcome back, reference. welcome back. We are going oh, to shift gears right. a little bit here. We're going to go to the other group. All right. Yay! All well, you all are meeting back up. Yeah, I'm not. And you're heading to uh, the other group with Esmeralda. Yes. Oh, that's right. And the, and, and the giant feline. And the, uh, <laughs> the, the oh, armored... <laughs> Gosh, I'm bad at this. <laughs> Esmeralda is the help that you got the card reading about. You can't just call them the, the help, man. Hmm? You can't just call them the help. <laughs> <laughs> um, Assistance? Where'd the animated armor go? It's right here. Oh. Where did... Yeah, this is Esmeralda. This is the animated armor. Yeah, I had a, I had a It's with you. And you all are still... Uh, I can't remember if you had actually headed toward the castle already, or if you're still in the tower. I think you're still in the tower. Yeah, we're in the. Uh, were we in the tower watching them be taken? No, they were already taken at this point. You are, all are. We went down there to find out what happened. Can, can you guys see this? Okay. Yeah. Um, you're here. This is Van Richten's tower. It's where you went to get uh, stuff. You got some pretty sweet loot. You need to make your Isn't way. Where they met me? Huh? Isn't that where they met me? Yeah. No. Oh. This is Castle Ravenloft. All the way over here. So you got a bit of a ways to go. You want to start that trek? I would walk 500 miles. Huh? And then I would walk 500 miles. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be the man? Just to be the bear. Yeah. Just, to, Just to, to be, be the, the bear. bear. Walk the thousand miles. It's K, yeah. To wind up at your door, Strahd. <laughs> so I, I presumably have a map of this area on me. Yes. Since I live here, so I'm thinking we could go because we, we know that they're with Strahd now, right? You know that they're in Castle Ravenloft. You don't know if they're with Strahd or well, not. Well, I mean, at the, at the castle. Yeah, we so vampire lord puts like these heavy hitters in this cage and expects. We could, to since he knows it's about like, us, we could. Very Doctor Evilish kind of we thing. We cut over here. I'm going to close the village. The door. This go to my shop. Trap that you have no cut, cut through the woods. Saving. Yes. Yeah. Cut through the woods. <laughs> Climb down the cliffs. No. Where are you seeing cliffs? Dude, yeah. kill us up and down. That's, that's the trick. Is can't be that much of an elevation. Why well, wouldn't just kill us? Okay. I'd, I'd kill, I'd kill you right now if I, if I knew that. Oh, true. <laughs> we're trying to come kill me. I've captured them. I should just murder them. Uh, I'm okay with it. That's so, uh, we have two options. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we can go around, go to straight to castle, up road where they can see us the entire way. Okay. I don't like that. Or, <laughs> we could go down to village of Barovia, stop at my shop, stock up on health potion, anything useful. This plan is already better than the first one. Why are we even talking about <laughs> <laughs> We can go basically die or go we uh, Okay. Blood, my friends, that is a very generous uh, thing to to offer to us. Don't know why you gave us option, because <laughs> option blunts. <laughs> but I'm appreciative of it allowing me to think that I have no choice. Always important to think of choice as a thing. Indeed. <laughs> Especially when there's not one. <laughs> Helps build morale. Okay, so we're we down to your village. Pretty much. Uh, Three, oh, now four. Enough. Four. Well, no, I have five. How much gold I have? Because now they gave me a short sword. That's right. Only three of them are attunement. Yes. Actually, two of them are. Never mind. Because it's the. I this along a little bit. Amulet and the Elven Chamber are two This is Morelda, who's, of course, listening to, to the plans and doesn't like the second idea as well. Yeah. Um, so, we need to go to. That'd be his thing. That's the kind of To the village of Herobia. I don't think Excellent. And we actually have two options there, too. We could go up to Cliffs of Castle and get in the back way. Because I I may know a back door. I don't know if I know a back door. Yeah, um, <laughs> it may we still be it may still be there. See. It may not still be there. Is there like a sewer that we can get in? Is there a sewer that I know of that we could enter the castle with? Let me know. 
I used to work there. Because we don't know where our friends are, yet we know he's the last uh, one to see them. And he's taken by Strahd will be in the weak point. Right, so week. maybe so we can go to the dungeon the, and uh, uh, find them. I know, right? Too bad they don't have any so kind of teleportation ability. Just ask Rohan. Sirius of the... So the weak point is uh, everybody's no. got a shit. Okay. There isn't any shit. kind of sewer pipeline that runs from Castle Rivenloft to anywhere. So they're just not uh, that except that perhaps now. Yeah. Well, they're one they're a little too far apart for that. Um, there's about a the distance there is to be sure through the forest. Like as the bird flies, you're looking at. That's the raven blood. Hey. You're looking at about two miles between them. Okay. Um, Some of that is over difficult terrain. That's, yes. That's fine. That doesn't yes. bother me. Um, Esmeralda I mean, up, up pulls out hills. this. Um, Works. This stone. It's mountain or forest. That uh, is about he's the size him. of a baseball, I guess. Has magic rings all over it, and she whispers into it, and she like tosses it on the ground, because you all come down from the top of the tower and everything, and you're like kind of outside, and she tosses it down, and this magic door opens up, and she walks right in and kind of beckons you all. <laughs> or that, I guess I'm going through the door. Or that works too, I guess. <laughs> Vlad's cool. He's pretty much cool with everything. Alright. Very chill, sneaky fella. You come out. That's why he's such good friends with Izzy and he's so concerned on where he's at. Huh? That's why Vlad's so concerned about where Izzy's at. He's lost his drinking buddy. Nope, nope, that's fair. You'd make a great sphinx. <laughs> Just needs wings and a human face. You step out of this room. It's a, it's a room that's in an inn. Um, it's not immediately clear to anyone except for Vlad that where you are. You recognize the decor as being a room within the Blood of the Blind Tavern. In the village of Barovia. In the village of Barovia. And you also see uh, very, very lightly etched into the wood is, is, a, is a little teleportation circle. And she. I she did has. not know this was here. Yes. Well, I, welcome I, to I, my home, gentlemen. There we I go. Do, I do frequent uh, Rovia and some other places. So it's pretty handy. It's just it's odd that I did not know it was here. I know where everything is. Well, you can't know where everything is. <laughs> I'm inspired. <laughs> <Come on>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not come on. My job. Rose cat. Yeah, we don't like you as much. Get, get down. Green, you're okay. <laughs> Do you see that? No, Do you think you're trying to pet her? Yeah, this, this cat will just knock yeah. all you're that shit down. You're in the butt. Yeah. There you go. Buddy, Look, Green's cat. hiding. Look, he ain't put his face down. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm nothing. He won't see me. Buddy. I didn't oh, do butt. it. Cat butt. Whoa, hey, stop. <laughs> you're trying to play. Your shop. Shop. It is probably because the village of Barovia is not a particularly large place. Everyone, um, this is the inn, the tavern, the Blood of the Vine Tavern, and it's kind of in 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 the center of the village. Okay. Your shop it would be on the way into the village, which are the main entrances. This this way. And that way it'd be easier for people to slip in and out. I would probably say it would be that building on the corner, or this one right here. Okay. That's fair enough. It's in the market square, that makes sense. Or it's, it's, it, it's in kind of square. You're like a couple hundred feet away. Actually, less than that. You're like 80 feet away from your shop, which is super convenient. Yep. I'm gonna go up to the. Um, are we actually inside the bar? Are we in like a stock room? You're you're in one of the like rooms, one of the rooms of the inn that are oh, that are kept in. that are kept empty uh, for this express purpose. So um, like we are, we are at inn in village of Barovia. I recognize this place. I've been here before. <laughs> of course, yeah, as in uh, tradition. 
So if we go downstairs, walk out the door about 80 feet to my shop. Alright, I can. I can Sounds good. Yeah, let's do it. Do we have to be sneaky or can we just walk there? You can walk out. I'm just gonna walk out. I mean, they, they, they know me here. <laughs> Stealth right. check, man. I don't know. I just, <laughs> I just always feel like there's gonna be something stairs. that's gonna happen. This is roll to see. A stealth. Oh. Because why not? Why not? Why not? I'm gonna go down and uh, signal yeah. the bartender, go pick up a shot of vodka and down it. I stealth is a stealth. Okay. The nice. bartender, of course, knows who you are. And you know him. Those are good spin. His name is. Uh. 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 is not given a name? Art. No, Eric. His name's Eric. Eric, old buddy. Eric Lorinsk. He's a bartender. He's a pudgy little dude. Nice enough guy. Ooh. Uh, he's pretty much mindlessly cleaning glasses. Um. That smells actually very well. There were some other folks. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. In the tavern as well. Um, they were surprised to see all of you walk out because nobody, like, none of you walked into this tavern. You're just kind of walking out. Oh. Is that, is that the ring? The ring. The yeah. ring. One ring. One ring. So you go throw it in a so volcano <laughs> somewhere, or? <laughs> <laughs> so I go down. Yeah, there it goes, buddy. Yeah. Eric is uh, super glad to see you. Um, he's surprised that you came down from the room until he sees Esmeralda, and he's like, oh, <laughs> okay, fair enough. What brings you here? We're going to my shop. Oh. Had to get there from far away. You don't want to walk. Fair enough. Esmeralda? And uh, he, he uh, fixes her a drink, too. Is, any, is it anybody else getting a drink before you go over to the shop? Let's go for the party! No, I'm good. I don't want a drink. He has a mojito. Huh? He, he has a mojito. <laughs> a mojito? <laughs> we have no mojito. What you is don't mojito? have mint? <laughs> oh, oh it's, it's, I'm not even here. Tell him. I don't think limes grow very well. For <laughs> yeah. Rotten limes. Shame. Gross. <laughs> hey, that's just extra alcohol, right? <laughs> like ferment, that's, that's how it works. No, that's something else entirely. <laughs> not, not so good. Anyone else drinking? I'm, I'm drinking. I'm sorry, I'm not there. <laughs> take about, take about three shots of vodka. Already would have been drinking. Walk, leave them out for. <laughs> yeah, like Toss down about five bowls. All right, fact, which is, is much drinking. more. No, your shop. Like, what do you do point? in your shop? Hey. I'm a tailor. Oh, okay. He's Garrick. Got I'm it. Derek. Got it. Here's well, I mean, I also do other stuff, but that's not the main shop. The above board is the tailor. Yes. The <laughs> uh, not so above board is other things. What do you do as your other things? A lot of freelance spy. Kind of right. a kind of a private investigator a little bit, but mostly I spy on other people. Make me think of the uh, Kingsman. <laughs> what an excellent film. It was. It was so good. Alright. What do you. So you're going to your, like, secret cash? Mm-hmm. Got extra extra bolts, some steaks, my okay. whole I'm gonna go kill Strahd one of these days kits. Right, right. <laughs> but so, yeah, your, your so chest. Like, like your do you first. Describe my shop as we walk in? Sure, yes. Do it. Alright, so I go in and lock my door. Disarm about three traps from mm-hmm. what you guys can see, and lead you guys inside. Uh, what's the light like outside? It's pretty much gray all the time. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> so I walk in There's and misty fog. Go light up a few torches. Nice ambiance. It's nice. Get some oh, probably there you just have candles. <laughs> huh? Probably there you just have candles. Get candles. Sixteen. There's a tailor. You Fair enough. Go <laughs> light some candles and. Um, so what you guys see, it's just bolts of cloth on the walls. You know, typical. You know, like the sewing section at Walmart. 
<laughs> crafts area. Go walk. You just walked a bunch into of happy faces everywhere. This you just walked awesome. into Michael's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there's a dressmaker's dummy. A couple of those. Antique register by the wall. And uh, Vlad walks over. I walk over and look at everybody. Everybody, look out the window. Typed my code into the register. In the back cave of the Pull the chain. <laughs> <laughs> the clock behind me moves. <laughs> no, no, it's just a. The pan- Raven Cave. <laughs> he actually just pulls out like $20. <laughs> That's all he's trying to do. It's, it's he- bottle caps. <laughs> it's like, lever is stuck. Lever. Gank on it. Door uh, panel behind me pops, swings open. And in this room, you see racks and racks of like wooden stuff. Well, it's downstairs down to the basement. Well, it's downstairs, right? So, like, downstairs into the basement. In the basement, there's like weapon racks all over the place with wooden stakes and other relevant implements for dealing with vampires. There are um, a couple work tables. There's two work tables. There's a shelf, cabinety type thing that has vials. Um, one whole shelf has about ten vials of holy water. Can I? Um, do you have anything like a Noisy something cricket. to propel them? Like, like a, say, like a slingshot or so, something that will help me throw a distance, like I maybe like a sling cricket. or something that I can throw these vowels in. I will see what I can find. Yeah, go over because he's a tailor. I'm guessing he would have stuff like that to chuck these things. So. True. Give me a percentile roll. Noisy cricket. Yeah. So no, right. noisy cricket, <laughs> dude. Noisy cricket. Uh, Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve out of one hundred? Yeah. Twelve out of one hundred. Uh, Damn. Twelve out of okay. eleven though. Okay. What's going on here? So I rate that five out of seven. Uh, that is not seven. super good. So there's not a sling per se. You could craft one. I can go make one. I can use my tailor supplies and Yeah. It'll be kind of shoddy. Because of the time that you have, because you're wanting to get to the castle as soon as you can. Would I know how to make something like this? A sling? Like something... Is it yeah. one time use? What are you using it for? Um, these tin vowels, it has to last at least these tin vowels that we have. Well, these are fairly light. Right. You I just, have scarves! You just throw them. Just throw them? Okay, I, I don't know if something will mm-hmm. give me like an additional like... Just distance. Distance, I guess. You're... Noisy cricket. Probably going to be dealing with it inside the castle. So distance will not necessarily be an issue. Oh, I got a better idea. I'm just gonna toss them up and shoot them. That's a way better idea. I'm gonna do that instead. All right, never mind. Problem okay. solved. We'll move on. That's <laughs> Make cool. it rain. Yeah. There so, are. Um, that's kind of the uh, lower shelf. The middle shelf has slightly glowing potions, healing potions. There are five. I guess you're like standard healing potions. Since this is your like stuff, you just one hold one. it all and then distribute, I guess. Mm. Okay, I'll say that they're greater. We'll make it seven greater. Seven greater. Oh, I forgot I had exploding arrows. Yes, you do. We don't know what they do. Because they have a question mark. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Because the tinkering Dude. check was not super good. Do they actually? You don't know yet. <laughs> um, so seven greater healing potions. How many vials of holy water? Ten. Yeah. All right. And uh, do I have any other potions lying around in there? Fun potions. Uh, that's a good question. I may have hidden them somewhere. Maybe the DM's got. Senior. Yep. Thank you. While he's looking for this, shout out to Sirenscape. Yes, do it. Sirenscape is a great app where you can uh, use playlists to enhance your D and D game. It's what we're using right now. So thanks to Sirenscape for your uh, what is it? Royalty free. Royalty free music. Thank Woo! you. That word. 
And we even if you're not playing D and D, it enhances it's, it's, yeah. all moods yeah, and yeah. activities if you're a writer, throughout like right. Cleaning, can, so. give me in the shower, just in the dark by yourself, alone, crying. Um, <laughs> First. As drag music for any mood. I like doing the uh, oh, castle nice. battle. Right, give me and four just different. <laughs> Listen, that'll repeat. Fifty-eight. <laughs> oh, the dungeons are my favorite. favorite. You want me to just roll in first, and then you can. Sure, fifty-eight. Forty-one. Okay. Forty-six. Like honestly, if you play RuneScape, listen to this shit. Oh Thank yeah, you know, way yeah, better. dude, that's a good idea. RuneScape music sucks. <laughs> Except for that one. I still have no idea what order Terrell is. Order the Lycan. What's, what's that one song? Yeah, that's like, like that, okay, it's like that, the boat. Should be it's, like, it's like a boat. It was added later. Serum or I swear, it's like a boat song. Okay, forty-one. Um, so you're like looking at. Like, I'm trying to remember. Isn't isn't Val Val Valley Valley Valador? Is that is it there or is it Port Salem? There's Port Serum. Serum, that's what it is. Yeah, it has to be one of those. It's is it, like a sea shanty. Right. Over yeah. the course of your planning, which has been years, you have acquired. I bought, I bought that membership with Sarai's card well, for a month, and I'm like taking a month off, and then I'm gonna read. What? It. You <laughs> end up card and buy gathering <laughs> up buy a some month stuff. That's of very useful. See, that would be a good idea. I mean, might as well. It's nine hundred dollars. No, I'll tell you what really? you do as well. Oh, there so you go. Note them down. The first one that We're you rolled is months. a potion of invulnerability. Fuck yes. Nice. Which is for one minute after you drink the potion, you have resistance to all damage. Shit. All damage. <laughs> Again, what what kind of that's, damage? And that's this, six rounds? Yeah, oh. no, it's ten rounds. Ten, ten rounds. rounds. The Shit. potion syrupy that's, that's liquid brutal. looks like liquefied iron. So, so find Imsh, give it to him, and just have the a little whale on the dude. The next <laughs> thing that you find, or that you have acquired, you have a potion of gaseous form. Ooh, hoo hoo. Uh, Let's just get them all to Imsh. You the potion to the effect of the gaseous form spell for one hour. I think we're not with it. I know, but... Or until you end the effect of the bonus. Happens. Um, I'm just going to ask this now. Are you going to say no? Potion Missibility? No. Oh. There's a table we rolled in our other game where one of our uh, characters gained the permanent reflex, permanent effect of, of the enlarged potion by drinking two potions at the same time and rolling. Oh, wow. Nope. No, I just to be all over that. that Drinking anything <laughs> is yeah. fun. Just think if he'd done that with the two potions of giant strength we have now. You have a potion of frost giant strength. <laughs> now, that is what M should be tossed. Like, I mean, that would be good. No, invulnerability is pretty, pretty dope. Is that what? Do we have yeah. that too? Unless you got, like, you just got the first one was a potion of invulnerability. Jesus. And then the other one, the final thing that you have is on potions. Strength is already in this water. Like, it's not going to give it all the potions. Well, <laughs> invincibility <laughs> would be amazing. Yeah. 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 Like, just have him just, <laughs> just, just packing away. <laughs> 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 what was the next time? Or maybe Psy. Psy would love to do all that damage. Could come in handy. No, Psy's really good at taking damage and giving damage. Which okay, is really great at taking the damage. Uh, well, if you're not dead yet. Yep, it's true. Come close. Yeah, yeah, a few times. We all have. Almost by myself a few times. Okay, you can use. Actually, I'm surprised. Who, who, the, the has anybody not had to do a death use an action throw? to remove the stopper and speed. I didn't three die three because. Where uh, upon an amount of fresh water or salt water, your last one to this one. Uh, Paul so stream produces slab, one gallon. Ended on me. Oh yeah. That Fountain was, uh, produces my... five gallons. That, was, that would have killed me. And that was geyser that produces that thirty gallons of water that, that gush Paul. forth. The geyser are thirty feet long and one foot wide. the lightning. Yeah, As a bonus action, while holding the decanter, you can aim the geyser at a creature you can see within thirty feet of you. The target must succeed on a DC thirteen strength uh, saving throw or take one D four bludgeoning damage and fall prone. Instead of a creature, you can target an object that isn't being worn or carried. That weighs no more than 200 pounds. You can knock it over or push it up to 15 feet away. So it's pretty handy. And as I'm sure you know, 
Uh, vampires are not super fond of running water. True. Um, so, did I find any holy arrows? Have I had any arrows blessed recently? No, Link. You, don't you have, have holy water. <coughs> Fair. Which you can use for said arrows. Yo, dip. Itch. <laughs> What I would do, though, if you're going to do that, is, um, because you have cloth out the ass. Oh, Just yes. wrap up some arrows with cloth so you can dip them in. I'm going to wrap up a couple arrows anyway for fire arrows. Yeah. I have, right. I have lots and lots of vodka to dip on fire arrows. And Hold I'm on. also... Before, before we... Um, I was going to take some... I was going to grab something out of the room. Okay. We're almost done with this video. Okay. What are you doing? Um, I'm going to, like, take the cloth off the work table and uh, bend over for a few minutes and uh, fix up the crossbow I've been working on to replace my hand crossbow. Different hand crossbow, it's a plus one item. Good deal. All right, with that, you guys can plan a little bit and we're gonna, we're gonna end, end this video. We'll take a break. Later. Break, break. Not just yet. Okay.